Okay, this video is to calculate the amount of energy released by a specified mass of pure fuel. Whenever you see a question, you need to highlight what am I trying to find. So highlight the question. So the question is calculate the amount of energy. That's your X. So generally energy is in kilojoules. And any other information that you're given. So you're given the mass of butane. And it's 3.6 kilograms. And whenever you see a mass, you'll be tempted to turn it into number of moles. So you will need to convert that into grams. So to convert kilograms into grams, you're multiplying it by a thousand because there's a lot more grams in a kilogram. Okay, so we're combusting butane in an unlimited uh, supply of carbon uh, oxygen. So this is a complete combustion reaction. So your products are going to be carbon dioxide and... Okay, so you needed to write the um, combustion reaction for butane. So hopefully you've remembered that butane is one of those um, chemicals, the alkanes, that's an even number. So you'll need to double the entire thing. So if you did it um, slowly, you would have realised that they've got four carbons here. You would have needed four there. You've got 10 hydrogens, you would have needed 5. Um, so you would have had 4 lots of oxygen, so 8, and 5 lots of oxygen here. So you would have had 13 altogether, and you can't um, halve 13. So you needed to double it, so you needed 2 of these. The 4 becomes 8, the 5 becomes 10. Now you've got 16 plus 10, you've got 26 oxygen, so you've halved that to make 13. Um, so if you're not sure about combustion reactions, look at the other video on how to balance them. So now that you've got your combustion, reac combustion reaction, um, you need to relate the number of moles. Um, you're going to have to find the number of moles. So you're going to need to relate the number of moles to some sort of energy. So you're going to need to look where. Where do you look to find the amount of energy in the exam, in the data booklet? Okay, so here we are in the data booklet, and for butane, butane makes 2,880 kilojoules per mole. So you need to write a thermochemical equation with 2,880. Okay, so you looked at the data booklet and you got 2,880, but when you come back here, you realise that that 2,880 is for one mole and you've got two moles, so you need to double it. Um, make sure that you write negative because it's exothermic. If you don't write negative, um, then you will lose marks. And make sure you write kilojoules per mole. Okay, so the first thing that you need to do is turn this 3.6 kilograms or 3,600 grams into moles. So you're finding the number of moles of methane, C4H10. And the equation, you've got the mass. So you need to divide it by the molar mass. So write out the equation that you're using first, then put the um, values that you have in. And your molar mass, you've got four lots of carbon. This molar mass is 12, plus 10 lots of hydrogen's molar mass is one, one gram per mole. Um, so that's 3,600 grams divided by 58 grams per mole, which gives you 62.1 mole. Okay, so now that you have the number of mole of butane, you, you need to find the amount of energy. So we're using our ratio. You put what you want on the top. So how many kilojoules have, do you need divided by what you've got? So you've got 62.1 mole. And the relationship between those two things is 5,760 to 2. So the question is, do you put the 2 on top or the 5,760? So the two numbers here need to be the same. So 5,760 kilojoules goes with these kilojoules, and two more go with those two more. So that's your ratio. 
So we knew that those two numbers go together and we're just setting up a new situation. So this is always divided. You take it over the other side and multiply it. So the number of kilojoules is 5,760. For every two mole, and you have 62.1 mole. So you have a lot more than two, which means the amount of kilojoules that you have will be a lot more than two. Um, so if you have mole on top and the bottom, you cancel them both. When you uh, calculate that, you'll find that you get 1,700, um, which is the same thing as 1.79 by 10 to the 5. Make sure you have your units, kilojoules. And when you've got your answer, make sure that you under, underline it because um, the examiners go slowly insane trying to find the answer. Um, before you leave the question, just make sure that you have actually answered the question. Okay, that you didn't have to convert that to something else. Okay, that's done.